Hello again, and welcome to the Flight Academy second video in the VNAV, using VNAV uh, video series. Uh, if you haven't already watched the first part where I go over the basics of VNAV, you might find that useful before you go into this video uh, where I'm going to actually fly a VNAV profile using our G6 simulator. Uh, this is a it's currently set to an SR22 Turbo, though any perspective G5 or 6 or 3 uh, equipped Cirrus is going to be exactly what you're seeing here as far as a avionics and autopilot interface functionality goes. Uh, today we are going into St. George, Utah, K Sierra Golf Uniform, SGU, uh, via Mormon Mesa for the RNAV Runway 1 approach. I have not yet loaded that approach, we're just on our way to Mormon Mesa as I've got the video frozen here, or the sim frozen as we head that way. So we're going to go through loading the approach and then using VNAV to step down. We've got a couple of surprises on this uh, VNAV profile uh, that again I covered in that first video. So you may want to go back and see that if you want to hear about it. Otherwise stay tuned for some surprises. Maybe not surprises if you've been into St. George before. Uh, but here we go. So ATC currently has us at 13,000 feet, 13,000, headed to uh, St. George. I'll move the video over in a little while to see the PFD, but the interesting stuff at first is going to be here on the MFD. We're going to start by loading the approach. So I'm going to put procedure and select approach. I want to pick the RNAV to runway uh, 1. Uh, it's an LPV approach, so everything looks good there. Uh, we're going to go enter, we're going to pick the Mormon Mesa, MMM, Mike, 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 VOR, uh, which our aircraft is currently just west of and still headed towards because that's what ATC asked us to do. So we're going to load that in. I'm going to leave the minimums off for now because they are not pertinent to this video. So let's load it in. Uh, here it is. So now I've got Mormon Mesa and another Mormon Mesa, VOR along with a bunch of uh, VNAV altitude shown uh, all the way through here. We've got 11,000 feet in blue all the way down to 6,800 in blue there. Again, back to that first video for the difference between white and blue on the VNAV altitudes. So already, and I still haven't unpaused it here, but we've got a bit of a problem, potential problem for the Cirrus pilot, ATC cleared us way back when we left our departure airport in uh, let's say it's Los Angeles as Mormon Mesa was part of our en route so we put in Mormon Mesa and then it was cleared direct now ATC has come back and said go to Mormon Mesa you're cleared for the RNAV approach I've got two versions of Mormon Mesa in the flight plan if I continue to the current iteration the one that's magenta Mormon Mesa the airplane would then turn, it would just go direct to SGU because that's what the flight plan says. It always goes fix to fix to fix. So I need to first of all make sure upon receiving that clearance, uh, cross Mormon Mesa uh, at 13000, I need to make sure I'm going to the proper one. And I could do this a couple of ways. I could hit procedure activate approach, that's a pretty simple way. I could also do direct to this version of Mormon Mesa, the second one in line. Doesn't matter which one you use, it is the same thing. You do not have to procedure activate approach to get it to go direct to this Mormon Mesa. I'm gonna push direct to. Pops up just like you'd expect it would. Enter and then activate. Now, oops, too many button pushes, there we go. So now the second Mormon Mesa is magenta. It is part of the approach, so I've avoided my first potential pitfall. We're gonna unpause now and head towards Mormon Mesa. My autopilot's currently uh, in nav mode, and ATC says this. Cross Mormon Mesa at 13000. You're cleared for the RNAV runway one approach. Oops, forgot to turn that on, there we go. So uh, I would read back, of course, the clearance, cross Mormon Mesa at 13000, and I'm cleared for the RNAV approach. So easy enough. Um, I'm going to cross uh, Mormon Mesa at 13,000. The airplane's already at 13,000. Uh, and so now what do I do to make sure that these things happen? Well, the good news is that first leg is all at 13,000 from Mormon Mesa all the way to Kutap, that fix down the line there. 
So my VNAV is not going to be descending me too much at first. I could be uh, below that. It's to cross QTAP at 11. But why give up since this whole leg, and I misspoke, this whole leg is at 11,000 cross Mormon Mesa at 13, and then it'll be 11 next. So why descend? Um, you don't have to. You could stay right here. And so what VNAV has done, you can see it here, change the zoom range so it's a little more clear, is it's placed a top of descent for our next step to 11,000 right there, a little further down the line. Airplanes crossing Mormon Mesa. Now an important thing to do, uh, having been cleared for the approach, is to make sure that you remember to arm approach mode on your autopilot. So we're gonna do that now. And that's great. Approach mode's armed, which brought up my glide path. But keep in mind, arming approach mode does not arm VNAV. I see no VNAV enunciations on the scoreboard at all. So I'm gonna be in trouble if I'm expecting this to do my step downs. So, but the good news is they are programmed in. I can see them. They are ready to go. So now button and bug, remember that part? So we're gonna come down here, arm VNAV and bug down to uh, what altitude are we gonna pick? Are we gonna go down to 11,000 and stop there because that's our next step down? Many pilots do that, but that'd be a mistake. I've been cleared for all of these step downs, all the way down to 6,800 feet at the final fix, the last blue altitude. So my bug, my altitude bug, should go down to 6,800 feet for the RNAV runway one at St. George. So here we go. So now I've got it bugged uh, and the button has been pushed. You can see it down there, but really the place you want to look again, scoreboard CV path has now shown up and I've got two separate altitudes. Which one's it going to stop at? Those that watched the first video, remember it's the, whichever comes first, the higher one. So 13,000, the magenta altitude is the altitude at which this airplane will stop descending. So that's good news. Uh, and we have a little bit of time to kill here. We are still here in the flight plan, I can see it, about three minutes from our top of descent. You can see TOD right there as well. So since I've got a few minutes to kill, I might run a checklist, do my approach or my uh, descent checklist and maybe even get into my before landing checklist, remember to do all those things. But I've also got a bit of a problem that I'm not aware of. Uh, if you're looking at the instrument approach chart for the RNAV runway one into SGU, you'll see that this step down that's coming up between Kutep and Arendt goes from 11,800 and just under five miles. That's a lot of altitude to lose in a pretty short distance. It's not a lot of time to descend. And speaking of time to descend, there's my trap. The impatient pilot might keep their speed up. That's a pretty normal cruise speed. We're coming along doing 100 and, what am I, 79 over the ground. Pretty good rate of speed. Uh, but I will be having big problems with that very steep descent that's coming up in a few minutes if I don't watch it. So we're gonna pause the video here briefly and I'm gonna jump ahead uh, to just before intercept so stay tuned and we're back we're going to um, we're looking at about a minute and 15 seconds to go till our top of descent at one minute to go that's when the system will enunciate vertical track it's also when the V path will show up on the PFD I've got 60 seconds to go for that vertical track. there it vertical is track. So it's enunciated, the V-path has now shown up. It's not quite centered, that's normal. It is armed again on the scoreboard. I can see it right up here, V-path is armed. And we've got our bug and magenta altitude set to go. We've got very little to do here. I'm still fast though. And so I have not yet slowed down. We're gonna see that. Um, I'm gonna intentionally let it kind of bite us here in a minute um, because I want that to be shown that VNAV step downs are not necessarily at a constant rate. I can see a preview here 
we will be coming down on this particular VNAV leg at about 500 feet a minute. All seems normal. I see no reason to slow down yet, right? So here comes the intercept. Right there, the path is enunciating on the top of the scoreboard there. We've intercepted, we're uh, starting to pitch down. Here comes our air vertical speed. And there also comes my airspeed because we pitched the nose down. I'm gonna make a power reduction a little bit. Not a big one. Yeah, a little bit of power reduction there. That seems reasonable, right? 57% power. My airspeed is stable at 150 knots. All seems to be fine. We're going to be continuing on this path for another uh, approximately nine miles or three minutes. So another pause because I'm not going to bore you with this part. Everything seems fine, but I've got a trap coming up. That steeper descent here in a minute is going to more than double my descent rate from 500 feet a minute down to uh, well, quite a bit more, over a thousand. Uh, and you're going to see that here in a few moments. So another pause. We'll skip ahead. It's 2.44 till our next step down. I'll resume about 30 seconds to go. Here we are with 30 seconds to go to QTAP, our next step down. I'm still doing 150 knots. Uh, I have pulled the power back into the mid 50% range. Um, and with my distance still being over 20 miles from the runway, I'm not following IFOM procedures. I'm going fast sure no serious pilots watching this have ever done that so we're about to see this descent rate steepen up quite a bit because I'm gonna lose uh, just under 2,000 feet in five miles about five miles here it comes look at this descent rate down 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 goes the nose 1500 feet per minute feeling that I am now reacting and pulling my power back quite a bit to go oh no I need to slow down that's a pretty low power setting for a turbo. That's definitely gonna cool my CHTs right down. I don't like that so much because the um, checklist says, remember, try to keep your turbo or CHTs rather uh, above 240. And with this power setting, they're gonna get cold. I'm coming down very fast. I've got the power reduced quite a lot. I'm still doing 155 knots and not really slowing down. So I'm gonna pull the power back even farther, further cooling my engine and doing a bit of wear and tear to it because of my lack of planning. Very steep descent. Same VNAV profile, right? But it's steepened up. Look how steep it is. 4.7 degrees. So now we're coming down at 4.7 degrees as opposed to the 1.7 that we were on earlier. That's exciting. So here we come, uh, descending uh, fairly steeply, about to make our turn at Arendt, so it's leading the turn, making a left to turn inbound on final. Thank goodness this descent is a little bit less steep. We're only going from 8,600 feet to 7,900 feet, so this leg will back off a little bit, the descent rate, which will pitch my nose up, and the airspeed's gonna start to come back. So I'm finally catching up. I'm finally below a speed where I could deploy flaps 50, and I'm gonna be descending now at a rate of about oh, eight or 900 feet a minute here uh, for this next descent, which I'm looking over at the flight plan and seeing it's a 3.1 degree descent angle, a fair bit shallower than my previous one. You can see how this could get out of hand. I've already done everything right with regards to the bug and arming V path. Imagine if I did those things wrong and I'm struggling with speed control. Fortunately, with a shallowed out descent and my very low power setting that's cooling my CHTs down substantially, um, I am recovering on the airspeed. I could go flaps 50, I'm gonna do that now, which will allow me to bring in a little more power and hopefully keep my engine from getting too cold. Your engine's not gonna blow up when you do this, but it is gonna add wear and tear. So we've done a sloppy pilot procedure and we are paying the price and that you will pay more for your annual inspection probably as a result of doing this over and over again. So try not to. So here we go. Descending down next leg, 7,300. That came from the flight plan with 6,800 still bugged, a beautiful descent by the VNAV and I can see the preview there in gray of the glide path. 
that the autopilot's also armed to capture. So situation is more or less resolved. My speed is right where it should be in accordance with the IFOM here. I'm still oh about two miles from the final approach fix here as we cross this last intermediate fix. And we're doing that now. So now we're going from Womim to Jogov, Zogov rather, and Zogov is the final approach fix. 1.6 miles to go to that. So here in a few moments, oh, getting a little slow, a little more power. So here in a few moments, I expect to see the vertical switch from uh, VNAV to glide path or GP. You'll see that happen on the scoreboard when we intercept it. And that should happen at or slightly before the final approach fix. Uh, and then it's smooth sailing, pretty much regular approach from that point forward. Um, so VNAV has helped us get down, but it had a couple surprises for us. There's the chime, we're 200 to go to our final altitude. And here in a few moments, we should see the switch from V path to glide path. There it went. Glide path has now filled in. Notice the VNAV is gone. VNAV again will not take you beyond the final fix. You're going to have to have something else take you beyond the final fix, like a glide path. And that's what it's doing. And it's going to take us all the way down to the minimums that I didn't type in yet because I'm a bad pilot. So uh, we've got our airplane on the approach. Oh, I've got the runway in sight, so I got away with it this time. A good example of a few sloppy procedures and VNAV helping us mm, as long as we knew what it was doing. And then hopefully my engine will forgive me for getting it a little bit cold on that descent. So with that, we're going to cut it off there. Um, have a great afternoon, day, morning, night, whatever it is, whenever you're watching this. Uh, be safe flying using VNAV. Get some instruction in the real airplanes or in a simulator with a CSIP or otherwise Cirrus uh, experienced uh, flight instructor, standardized flight instructor. And take care. We are the Cirrus training experts.